In this tutorial, you will learn how to display color images in different band combinations using ArcGIS 10. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. Open ArcMap with a map document containing the permanent composite image you created in Tutorial 11. I'm going to close these extra windows on the right, including image analysis, because I won't need them. Right-click on the composite image in the table of contents, then go to Properties. In the Properties dialog, click on the Symbology tab. Notice under the Show column that this is an RGB composite rendering. The important thing to note here is the channel and band table on the top. You can scroll through and look at other options under the Symbology tab, but we'll be just working with the channel and band table at the very top. I'm going to zoom in to this lake. Right now the lake is displayed as brown. I'm going to go back into the layer Symbology as we just did and start changing some of the bands being displayed to get a more realistic looking image. To do this, I'm going to click the drop-down menu, first next to the red channel, and change the band to band 3. I'm going to then go down to the blue channel and change this one to band 1. Now when I click OK and look at my image again, I'll see that the water is blue. This combination of bands is a true color image. We're now going to zoom into the mountains north of the lake. In this image, deciduous trees have no leaves as it was taken in March. The green represents conifers. I've zoomed back out to full extent, and now I'm going to zoom in to an urban area between the lake and the mountains that we just looked at. As you zoom into the city, Roanoke, you can see buildings, roads, and other man-made features. We're going to try another band combination to look at this image in a different way. Go back to Properties and Symbology, and this time we're going to assign band 4 to red, band 3 to green, and band 2 to blue. This is called a false color infrared, which shows the healthy vegetation as a bright red color. This band combination helps make the features within the city easier to see, especially areas of vegetation. I'm going to zoom into the forested mountain area to take a closer look at how the false color infrared might help me pick out vegetation patterns. Now I can see a better defined pattern of vegetation. Let's try a different band combination. Go back to Layer Symbology and change the bands to band 7 for red, band 5 for green, and band 7 for blue. Once I click OK, I'll notice this combination isn't helping me see the forested areas more clearly, but let me scroll down here and take a look at the city. This combination does seem to help me pick out patterns in the urban, more developed landscape. In this tutorial, you've seen how to change the information you can glean from a composite Landsat image simply by changing the bands displayed for each color. Be sure to refer to the written version of Tutorial 12, which has an appendix that describes each Landsat thematic mapper band, and this way you can try out your own combinations to learn even more about your image.